Hello, welcome. Of course, just they join us this on the Bunge Good Morning Nigeria show. Went our very first segment mm -hmm. this morning on top of our show. Uh, to the gospel, we say we don't already tell them that we go talk um, this um, morning. I won't look this issue of banditry. We don't already talk about the matter where we say occupy uh, newspapers True, today. Yes, a lot. A lot of you know, conversation. Whether they collect 800 million, no, mm. I believe they collect to wait seeing they really, really, really happen. And the cocoa uh, be that. And we get our guest, of course, Dr. Chris David um, on the line uh, to discuss this matter with us. Dr. David, good morning. Good morning. Right. Right. Good morning. Good, mor good, good to morning, have you Nigeria. on our show this morning. Good morning, sir. Dr. David, um, this matter I don't pass, uh, it don't pass, be careful. Um, some people go talk, say, they're not they surprised as the matter, they happen. Be like, say, as we say in Nigeria, we like to they use money, they set to every issue when they decide themselves to address the matter. But what do you think about this new trend of banditry uh, for Nigeria? Well, uh, it's very clear to everybody that uh, for some time now, in Nigeria, we are rewarding uh, bad behavior. Hmm. So everybody went see, see if you can cause trouble, uh, instead of get punished, you will be rewarded. Hmm. Now you say, all oh, now they make, say, this bandit to now, don't become new form of cashing in. Hmm. So that is just it. Now, make it not be like saying that now, now this thing starts. You know, since Boko Haram stands, yeah. you know, Boko Haram was a threat. But some people saw opportunity inside it. Mm. That's why up to today, we still they see insecurity. You don't migrate from Boko Haram, turn to Hesmen, mm. now you don't turn to Banditry. Mm -hmm. We don't know the next one will come. Mm. So that is the situation. Yeah, but look, looking at this uh, current situation, we happen for um, Ninja State. We even use that one as uh, the, uh, one of our uh, case conversations this morning. Uh, the the Ninja State go, uh, government, they talk, say, they're not going to use force take uh, settle this matter because say school children still they involved all those kind of things if you say mm. we even suppose even they they get conversations with all these uh, b b people where they do bad men these bandits kidnappers and all these kind of things what do you feel about this one bro? well they get point for that one okay because lives of who are involved mm. now if you find yourself in such <coughs> situation. Mm -hmm. The priority is to safeguard the life of these people first. But the question is that what do you do after you don't safeguard life? Mm -hmm. That is the question that we need to be addressed. Because if you have not punished bad behavior, it is obvious that the next person will see say, oh, this is not the new business when they turn. Mm -hmm. This is not the opportunity when they turn. And you just need to invest a few millions and cash in billions. Mm. So that is the trend. So what we are supposed to do is that, yes, when we find ourselves in this kind of uh, situation yeah. where life of people take in for, we, we don't have the sophisticated weapons yet, the way uh, U.S., Take fly, come uh, Nigeria, 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 and, uh, and rescue their person. Mm -hmm. So what we just need to do is to secure the lives of those first. Mm -hmm. When you secure the life of those, people, then what do you do? Because this thing is systemic. Yes, we are seeing a system failure in our security architecture. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So that is what we are supposed to be addressing. We shouldn't wait that on people have been kidnapped before we react. What are the proactive measures now, that what? we need to take? So, so uh, other conversations regarding this whole kidnapping and um, situation where it happened, insecurity situations, people they talk say, 
if we even fit, get access to these people to sit down, they get um, negotiations and conversations with them, why we not just, you know, since we, we already know, know where they're day, why would not we just go pack all of them? Why do we have to still sit down with them to get conversation? As we they see, we, we see what Shegumi do with uh, the one we happen for, for an area, as go sit down, they follow them, they talk, they, they negotiate situations. People they talk say, if we feel know where they're day, why we not just go there, wrap everything up once and for all? So now the opportunity when they inside with that, you understand? Mm -hmm. And the Nigerian state have not been able to address, address it. You understand? So what we are supposed to do is that you have these people that have emerged themselves as bandits. Yes. What are you doing as a state? In fact, if we look at the history of government, those days, those early, early days, mm -hmm. when people, they live in hamlets, uh, villages, in caves, and all that, they were facing this kind of attack. And people can say, why not for us to come together yeah. to be one, gather force to fight common enemies? Mm -hmm. That is how government came into existence. And that's why you see, say, for constitution, they will say the primary function mm -hmm. of government is to protect lives and property. Because the origin of government is that now to the people came together, yeah. put resources together to fight common enemy. But we are not seeing it. Because if some people they one place, they, they be bandit, mm -hmm. why will you now go and say want to negotiate with them? Why are you saying you to give them uh, amnesty. Mm -hmm. Is it not government, the institution of state? Is it not form? Is it not the function of this of state to fight against those kind of uh, mm -hmm. arrangement? Mm -hmm. So now the opportunity to see that. Now I listen to the Zamfara State gov uh, governor. Yeah. When say some bandits not be criminal, that they, they are only doing that to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. That statement alone is inviting. Because the institution of state is supposed to be the one to protect citizens. True. Not that citizens should protect themselves. So what that government say, implication of the statement is that this security situation has the security system in Nigeria has hmm. so that is the implication okay I said I look this matter uh, um, Dr. David because yeah. of course you know say hmm. some people say we know attack that first time when it starts uh, before Boko Haram being come now Al Qaeda now they occupy GIS for Nigeria that time um, we never to experience them but the moment we hear the first bomb for Nigeria, the first thing we had talked that year, I say no sense when we say enter Nigeria, we they carry and pass, be careful. Mm -hmm. uh, as a matter day now, uh, solution fit there at all. I'll be this now, sometimes we say we could just ready to just live with for the rest of our lives. Because this thing don't infiltrate, you don't even come out for not in the other parts of Nigeria now. Mm -hmm. Now the new normal be this, now we suppose accept. I mean, I also make government don't look and say the best thing is just to settle with money because they don't say force no work before. How? How? What do you feel? No, that cannot be possible. Okay. And we cannot regard it as new normal. Okay. You know, whatever you don't like, you confront it. Mm -hmm. So there is no space, there is no there is no space for saying that we need to accept the current situation when we see ourselves. So if anybody they talk say to accept this situation when we did so, 
is or is or the implication is that we don't have government again. So we are now living in that barbaric society where there is no law and order. So what we need to do is to confront the situation. How now? How? Because because they, don't do this they don't put in, they, they, we don't they, use they put force, force. You know what? We, we now don't they enter put, now they money, put money. And people see they kidnap. People whatever they kidnap. Don't say once I kidnap, my millions I will get will money. Come. So you feel say any so, other way go feed day. You feel say any other idea if it spring up when you say if you don't admit the matter use. say as Boko Haram matter first start. Mm. Why this thing still they linger? Because some people they benefit, they from, benefit from inside. They see say the more the thing they hurt, the more money they go they release on top of the defense matter. So mm -hmm. what thing will they talk now? Where, how we won't go? She will go she will go <coughs> employ uh, international forces to come. So if you say now the way forward be that how you take here? Well what we are saying is that the patriotism mm. to our nation is, is in question by those who have been given responsibility to perform that function of protecting life and, and property of citizens. Mm -hmm. The second thing is the willpower. Government need to demonstrate that willpower. Now, you see, said this our police, mm -hmm. our soldiers, when they go out of this country, say for all these peacekeeping and all that, yeah. even the soldiers of US, France, they, they, they depend on the force of Nigerian soldiers. So how come it can't be our own? Not it's up. Hmm. So now that thing we need to address. We need to speak to ourselves face to face. That are we still patriotic? Where is the willpower? Hmm. And if need be that we need foreign assistance. Yeah. Then we can get for this assistance for help. Us. For me, I still believe oh, that if the Nigerian security architecture is talking about the, the, the army, navy, air force, and the police, mm -hmm. they agree, so okay, let us be patriotic to perform the fashion that we are created, mm -hmm. then all these menace that will, will become a history. So, um, 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 Dr. Chris, before you leave us, people just make us ask this final one, this final question. Regarding this, um, you just mentioned these uh, security agencies where government don't, don't create to, you know, to secure lives and properties. What do you also feel about this community policing um, thing? If you say that one self, go feel help. Say if they could they create uh, community policing for different areas, may everybody handle their security per state. If you say that one go also feel help this uh, insecurity situation in any way. You don't say I don't talk about transition. The five levels of policing. Mm. Community policing is very important. Okay. So when you look at societies like uh, the UK, when you are in London, you will see all these policemen in your neighborhoods. They know they even they carry gun, mm. but gathering of intelligence, knowing who is occupying a property, yeah. knowing who all the things that surrounding. That's a particular uh, community. Mm -hmm. Those are their jobs. And immediately, there is an issue. You see, say, within two minutes, the situation has been arrest, arrested. Mm. Because the community police, they know every nook and corner of that community. Yeah. So, community policing is the ideal thing and it's part of the five 
structures of policing. Hmm. All right. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, the, the Dr. Chris David, for this uh, conversation. Well, as we did talk, and we still they hope, say, government will find that lasting solution to this insecurity matter where they happen for the country. And because the matter they spread, before we look at them, like saying, uh, only the northern part of the country, now they happen. But we can see it everywhere happening. Thank you for joining us this morning, uh, Dr. Chris. Hope, say, you will get an amazing day ahead of you this morning. Thank you very much. Thank All you. All right. All right. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so uh, this matters to be as it gets, but hey, wait till we go do, wait till we go do solutions now we need right no now. Matter, that's a hope solutions. against hope now, waiting the matter be because solutions. I know like if you no matter you want to shake this matter, I still never, you still never get that. Because again, you go to person, go take talk, you go just you to say, say okay. yeah, see what's in there because I mean, if people say that they're supposed to handle this matter, you know, to a large extent, like in don't talk, say people, they benefit from the matter. Yes, you know, perfect. end. Any way, way person they make money from, you know, you know like now, why would stop. you want there to be peace? You, you know, right, like it must continue. continue.